Hi everybody, and welcome back to Let's Pete Fable Anniversary. It is so nice to finally be an adult, and be in the guild, and have a lot of our training completed, so I am just super excited to continue on here. Let's admire these beautiful candles, love it. Ah, so neat, it's really cool to play this remake, you know, I guess I'm getting a little more fond of it here, so... Um, yeah, so we've got all kinds of stuff we can do now, right? We can uh, pull out our sword, which is no longer the stick that we started with. We can pull out our bow, we can fire that, we can go into first person mode. Oh my gosh, and you can even zoom in with this, look at that. Yeah, let's see if we can put the candle out with an arrow. <laughs> no, but it sticks in there, well that's really neat. <laughs> it's stuck in the flame. I don't know if that works in a, in a physically correct way, but you know, pretty sweet. How do you like that, Guildmaster? That's right, Guildmaster, why I oughta. <laughs> no, 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 he's cool, he's cool. Okay, so folks, before we move on, we have got some cool stuff we can do. So I'm gonna take you with me into the menu here, and we're just gonna look through and see what's going on. So we've got no current quests. We can do just about anything we want here. We're free as a bird. And let's see what else here. So we've got the map. We've got the world map and the region map, I guess. So this tells us about the Heroes Guild, Oak Vale, Lookout Point. We're probably going to be seeing those places in a bit here. The logbook just tells us about how to use weapons for now, not much else. Um, skills is really cool. So this is where we're going to be able to see our magic abilities, I think. And we can also uh, adjust our expressions in here. So we are going to change a few of these up um what i'm going to do we've got uh follow and wait so that's interesting i guess i might add those into something so i can actually assign these to the menu here yeah let's let's have these be like the left and the right i don't know that sounds kind of cool here so follow and wait all right and then uh flirt now this is actually a um, these are sorted by category here, so if I click over to, um, I think these are called social expressions, so we've got five of these, and then we've got our renown expressions, which uh, one of these is flirt, and then we also got the Cossack dance. <laughs> the Cossacks were a fierce race, but only their drinking games and this joyful little dance remain of them now. Um, so I think that's like an alignment one, so maybe we're like slightly evil or slightly good, I don't know how we got that, but... Uh, we have that one too, so yeah, let's maybe put uh, let's maybe put flirt on here too. We gotta assign that to something, right? Yeah, instead of farting, we'll use flirting. That's a better tactic. So let's get that on there, and then um, gosh, you know the Cossack dance. I don't know. We might need that sometimes too. But the other way to use those real quick is if I push. Um, well, you can't really see it in the bottom left. There's a some icons. Here, I'll tell you what, I'll move my picture real quick and we'll look at this. So uh, I can push this up arrow and then I can actually access all these through this menu that pops up. So we can go alignment, Cossack dance, let's do it. Oi! <laughs> all right, it worked. Did you like that, Guildmaster? Um, <laughs> we could also flirt with the Guildmaster. Let's try it. Here we go. <laughs> Expressions, renown. Hey. Ah, <laughs> a tough customer, Guildmaster. <laughs> okay, I'll win him over yet. Um, yeah, and then, you know, so here's the ones that I hotkeyed. Should we ask him to follow us, see if he does it? Follow. Follow. Wait. Okay, he doesn't obey commands, you know, typical Guildmaster, right? Um, super cool, and I don't know what this money one is, right? Maybe we use this to bribe people, we'll have to find out. But, back to the menu. So, where were we here? Yeah, so anyway, that's that. Pretty cool. Um, what we've got here is the stats, right? So you can start to see we got our little health point last time. So we got one point in health. Nothing else in physique, toughness, speed, accuracy, guile, magic power. And then here's all the spells. So if you do the math, what is there about like... Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that must mean there's 18 spells. Holy smokes. Oh yeah, we got one point in lightning, very cool. Alright, yeah, we're going to go through those spells later. Super, super fun. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, and then we've got our uh, personal stats, right? So, we are a hero. We've got... Uh, 
Oh, where'd my picture go? Show me that chicken chaser again. There he is. Um, we've got very little renown. Alignment is very neutral. We're very uh, unattractive. We're very unassuming that way. But we're also not very scary, so that, that works. We're 18, we're slim, um, and we're an unknown soldier class called Chicken Chaser. So that's, yeah, that's all we are, you know? We're just little, we're still a little Chicken Chaser here. Let's see here, let's keep going. Um, equipment, so right now we've, I guess what this is maybe saying is we've got no hat equipped. Your head is uncovered. Hands, your hands are ungloved, so we can either do no gloves, we can do villager gloves, that's kind of cool. Or we can do the apprentice trainee gloves, and those don't affect our... Oh yeah, no, look at that. So the armor rating is 38, right? So... Yeah. If we put these on, we get some extra armor. We really should have this then. Yeah, I want to go with the... Uh... Apprentice gloves, that's cool. Wear those. And then no shirt. Oh, man, this kid is pretty buff here, but he's pretty small. He's real cut, though. Um, so we can do the hooded apprentice robe, the unhooded apprentice robe, and the villager shirt. All right. Now I want to go with the apprentice uh, upper robe. That seems cool. Dressing your character is a big deal in Fable, right? Um... Trousers. Oh man, he's got the the queen's colors there on his bum. This is a British game. Don't forget. Um, we can go with the apprentice lower robe there, or the the villager blue jeans. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Let's go with the jeans. And he tucks his shirt in. I like that giant belt buckle too. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? All right, I took him off. Good deal. Um, all right, no, I put him back on. Uh, let's see. Boots, too. We got boots. Uh, no boots. Ooh. I don't know. This is a dirty world here. We're going to need some boots. Uh, but with those jeans, I'm sorry. We got to wear those villager boots. So we already got those on. Great. Um, and then you can just do outfit by outfit, right? So that's really nice. So that'll be fun. We'll start collecting more outfits as we go. Um, let's look at what else we got. So weapons. We could equip our stick. Obviously, the longsword is much better. So we'll probably go ahead and use that. And we've just got our basic longbow. Super cool. We've also got our equipment, so this is uh, what came from our stuff that the Guildmaster gave us, our little basic survival pack there, right? So we got this really cool resurrection file, this cool health potion. You know, I always loved looking at, like, the little potions in games and stuff. It's not that important, but it's like, how much work do they put into that? That's really cool. Let's see, what else do we have here? The will potion. Oh, that's a real nice one. Cool. Very cool. Love that. Yep, so remember, Will is mana, right? It's the same thing. We got our blueberry pie. Uh-oh. We've had that pie for, like, since our childhood. I don't know if that's still good. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't be holding on to that anymore. Uh, but we've got the fresh apple pie. That's nice. There are definite health benefits to eating an apple pie, it says. Are there? Also, why is it so green? Maybe that one's a little bit old, too. All right, and the guild seal. So cool. This magical device provides the user with a link to the guild, enabling communication and teleportation. Seriously? We can use the guild seal to teleport. Tell me more. Oh yeah, and that's right. We got a lamp, a source of wondrous light, and the money bag, a purse to contain gold. Okay, so this light now here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Let's assign this to... Yeah, we can probably re uh, replace our money bag with that. That'll be nice. Okay, so yeah, those are under our key items right there. Um, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, so we've got our tattoos, right? We got that um, Crindon tattoo there. Oh, look at that. That increases our attractiveness, and it makes us less scary, and it makes us actually good. But it says it's an order of assassins who live normal lives by day. I don't know why that would make us considered good, but that would that'd be very scary in my book, right? Um, and then we got our books, right? So we, we, yeah, we don't need to read all these books right now. We just got done training, right? We don't need any more, any more learning here. Um, so yeah, I want to do, uh, two things, right? So we just activated our light. And if I turn that on, it takes a really long time to turn on. Um, but neat. So I can just do that and not have to walk around in the dark. Very cool. 
Um, and you know what? That actually reminds me of something. Now that we have that light, I need to take you on a quick little adventure. And we need to check something out here. So follow me if you will. Yes, let's go through the guild here one last time. And I say one last time, but it's really not. Hey, should we flirt with some of the guild people? Hey. What? <laughs> He's like, what, mate? What'd you say? Well, hey, if you don't like that, maybe you'll like my dance. Uh-oh, what did he just say? Did you challenge me to a dance-off? <laughs> I can't hear what they're saying, but that's amazing. Oh, there's like guards now in the guild? What are you doing here, dude? Well, even targeting the guards makes me nervous. Oh yeah, he said there'd be punishments, right? If we're 18 and, or if we're older. Uh-oh. This guy, remember this guy? The demon door? Remember what he said? Let's go talk to him real quick. Your path is dark. Only a light will reveal it. And you are not bright enough. Ah, but I am bright enough to figure this Your out. Path is illuminated. Fancy that. You worked it out. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. It's Is it doing those? Are those game achievements or are those Steam achievements? I don't know. I thought I turned it off. Who's to say? Whoa! Okay, so we went through there. Our first demon door, folks. Huge deal. Big deal. All right. What's going on in here? Holy cow, there's a whole world in here. What is this, like Narnia or something? Oh, weird. We can go in this, like, swampy water here. This is cool, though. Look at all the work they put into this little extra whole area just for this demon door. And we've got our light on, right? Let's turn that off. Okay, creepy. Oh, there's a library. Yeah, so can we get some cool books from this place? Book of Spells. Yeah, but we're going to have to look at that later. A howl tattoo. Okay, that's very scary. It's got to be. Okay, anything on here? Oh, we've got a book right here. Making Friends. Oh, well, you got to have that. And then what do we got here for our trouble and strife? Oh, wow. Elixir of Life. What is that? A rare herbal health potion with extraordinary health boosting powers. Become more healthy than you ever have before. Hmm. What is that? Like permanently increase your life or something? We got to check that out. That's really cool. All right. Let's see. That's going to be under uh... <laughs> equipment. Yeah. This menu is very, very complicated. Okay. Here we go. Elixir of Life. Hmm. All right, we're gonna have to find out later. I'll I'll save and then I'll use that or something. Or maybe it's like a f maybe I should either definitely use it or definitely not use it. I don't know. But yay, we solved our first demon door. All right, let's head back to the Heroes Guild. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and run here, and we'll run back to the front of the guild. So, is there anything else cool going on back here? Not at the moment. There's that chest that takes 20 silver keys. I would imagine that's going to take a really long time to get. You know, it's funny. There's guards here now that I'm an adult and there weren't before. So I guess the world's gotten a lot more rough, you know, in the recent years. They did say there's some weird stuff going on. So I'm sure we'll find out more about that. I don't really remember the story. I just remember the fun fighting in the cool world. All right, let's head out into the into the wild blue yonder here. Let's go explore outside the guild for the first time. Can't wait. Can I be of oh, sweet. All right. You know what I should do too? I wonder if I, okay, so I need my bow out to go into first person, but yeah, we can look around here. Look at that cool sun shaft. There's a planet. Wait, is that a planet or is that like the moon? Hard to say. This is a good way to get a nice view of everything here. And don't forget, we can zoom in too. So we can inspect bad art all over if we find any. That'll be fun. All right, so what is this giant platform? I don't know. I'm sure we'll be spending some time here, though. I guess in the meantime, I could just zap it a little bit. Or I could roll right off it. Or I could roll up it, maybe. Can we do that? <laughs> all right. If we do any boasting, we'll, uh, we'll roll right up to that. Who's this guy? Leo. He's a title vendor. What? 
Would you like to trade? I don't know. Trade what? You've come to the right place. Titles? Oh, okay. Oh! This is what you can be known as. Mal Malef Maleficus? How would you say that? Ma Maleficus? I don't know. Um, assassin, Avatar, Liberator, Druid, Ranger. I kind of like Ranger. That's kind of cool. Rune Master, Hood, Saber, Pie Master, Chicken Chaser, Arse Face. Really? <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. It's the cheap one, as it should be. Albion's full of quests, things to kill, people to save. How may I help you today? All right. Well, I can't. Again, I can't really hear the dialogue. But if people start calling me arse face, I think you'll know why. Hey, this looks like a demon door here, but it looks overgrown, and there's no demon, so that's kind of interesting. Don't you think there should be one here? Hmm. Fascinating. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what's going on here. We barely made any progress at all yet. All right, there's a sign. Heroes Guild. Good. I swear there's maggots crawling out of him. This is that bully from our childhood. Look at this filthy pile of rags. You scumbag. He really expects people to give him gold. Oh, I thought he was talking to me for a second. He still might be. Join in with the well, bully. If you want... I'll tell you something that will really annoy you. Oh, to have a sword again. I used to be an adventurer like yourself, but look at me now. Begging to survive and getting bullied by this brat all the time. He's still a bully. Once a bully, always a bully, they say. I don't know if people can change. Help this beggar and get rid of the bully? Oh yeah, I've been beefing with that kid my whole life. Let's do it. You must be able to get rid of him somehow. Anything will do. Use your imagination. Oh. Oh, they want me to get rid of him with expressions, huh? I had another way in mind. You scumbag piece of work. Why I oughta... Oh my god, I'm gonna accidentally do it. Alright. How do I sheath this? Okay. We could use violence. It's, it's a good answer all of the time. Or, or, maybe it's finally time. I swear there's maggots crawling out of him. <laughs> ah, you're as bad as that stinking beggar. I'm out of here. Ha ha ha, funniest thing I've seen in years. You've earned my thanks, hero. I'm sure you'll make many friends in your travels. Perhaps we'll meet again, hero. I think if I keep doing that, I won't make any friends, but... Wow. We solved a problem with gas. That's something you can only do in Fable. Alright, what is this here? The statue doesn't seem to point anywhere in particular. I guess not. <laughs> it just points to nothing. Okay. Okay, well, oh, folks, there's all kinds of different ways to go here. I'm already having fun. So, that was the Heroes Guild. Oh, look at this, too. Oh, look at this. There's some vines here in the way. We can't go that way. Okay. All right, let's just go take a peek. Um, what's going on down these different paths here? Maybe we'll learn something. Again, uh, this is this is new for me. Again, what's old is new again. That's kind of why I like doing these, you know? Because I, I always wanted to play this again, and I thought, like, oh, yeah, I could just do it, you know? But this is a fun way to do it. You get to see different things that maybe you didn't see before. Okay, oh my gosh. All right, this is Bowerstone South. Well, I'm sure we'll get there. But, let's go check out what other ways we can go. Let's take in the scenery here. Yeah, so it's evening. It's, it's early evening, it looks like. Oh, there's another thing, too, on the map. So if you look up, you'll see there's, um, two, there's an eyeball and with a number by it. And that's going to tell how many people can see me at any given point. So... If I was going to start committing crimes right now, nobody would know. But if that eyeball says a number, then people are checking me out here. Okay, Greatwood. Interesting. Yeah, should we just go pop into Greatwood? I don't know. 
we'll start we'll start actually playing and doing something here shortly but we're just exploring now oh my gosh great wood is full of foes should we go fight yeah we should we should fight with the bow first oh my god they're attacking this traitor can you believe it get the bow out get it out here let's take these bees out we got one. Oh my god we're snipers oh my god i got two hey i can't get a shot we got him <laughs> it worked we saved that guy dude slow down man there's there's so many more up here okay we got to get up there and clear this ah, out there's an important quest card at the guild for you these people are just getting absolutely attacked by bees so many bees all right let's go get physical here let's make sure i don't accidentally take these traders out here all right you guys uh you know stay alive hopefully you're doing okay so far let's hit this one with some magic no let's hit it with a flourish right here we go big move yeah that's how you get him is there more there's a couple over here let's hit him with our lightning attack yeah bees hate that wonder if a bee's ever been struck by lightning like historically you'd think so right but that's kind of absurd too all right bee be careful there's another one yes okay we are killing it here Oh my god, there's so many ways to go here. I'm getting a little a little overwhelmed. All right, you know what? Let's not even worry about it. Um tell you what. That was really fun, but let's try to play with a little more um intention here. So, I'm going to use that guild seal we just got. Let's power that thing up. And if you power it up enough, guess what we can do? We can teleport back to the guild. We learned Maze's party trick. Isn't that fun? Oh man, so fun. Okay, actually, you know what? I say, forget that. We'll maybe do a quest next time here. If we're getting to the end of the video, I don't want to be starting to pick up quests. So yeah, let's go look around a little bit more. Let's go see what's this other way here. Wouldn't hurt to get my bearings and then I'll be able to play better next time. So yeah, let's head down this way. Oh, picnic area. Neat. All right, let's go check out the picnic area. Cool. Neat. It's beautiful. Oh, hey, look at this. There's some stuff here. Can I take this? No one's here, man. I could take whatever I want. I could take a green apple. A tasty, healthy fruit. Now, I'm not a big apple eater in real life. I'm going to be honest with you. They're a little tart for my taste. But in the game, I'm going to be taking them. These aren't your cooking apples that we found before, right? These are new and improved green apples. What else do we got here? What is this? Oh, the standard beard. Yeah, that could look real good. Use it at the nearest barber. Okay. We got to find a barber so we can get that beard rolling. It's usually barbers are the opposite in real life. They take care away. Apple pie. What else? Health potion. Hey, this is great. I'm sorry to whoever is going to have a picnic here, but we really cleaned out. And this is like a little sundial? That's neat. Okay. You know, okay, so this is making me wonder something too. So, okay, lookout point. Okay, so lookout point is this little hub. That's cool. So we get we found the picnic area, Heroes Guild, Bower Stone, and then... Um, I don't know, wherever we were just in the woods here a moment ago. Yeah, okay, so down this little path with these vines. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I can actually just crash through these here. Oh my gosh, I totally can. Okay, I was saying it won't let me through. <gasps> Folks, and look what we found. We found our first silver key. This is great. This almost looks like I know what I'm doing. You are a super player, it says. Thank you. That was kind. And this key actually says silver key on the key. As if it wasn't obvious enough. And I feel like I'm actually doing a really good job with this so far. Like I'm getting all the right things done, even though I really have no idea what I'm doing. So yes, well played. All right, our first key. Only 19 more to go. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what. Um, 
gosh, let's see here. Okay, so yeah, left was the other area, right? We'll go explore a little bit. We'll take a few minutes and do that, and then we'll... Oh, nope, that's the picnic area. Okay, my bad. Yeah, let's go explore the wilds, and then I guess in a future video we're going to have to check out... Uh, yeah, Greatwood. We'll go to Greatwood. We're going to have to check out Bowerstone, and then we're going to have to check out... Uh, the guild, um, there's some quests you can do from the guild, so that'll be cool. Are these bees back? Are you serious? Good, because I'm fixing for a fight. I love it, man. Every time you kill one, too, you get experience. Like, I'll take it. This is premium experience. We could be learning spells with this stuff, you know? So, you're also going to see up in the top left there, I've got a multiplier. That is actually when I'm doing attacks and killing and not getting hit. Um, that will increase. If I start getting hit, that will decrease. But that is going to mean that when I pick up experience, it's basically worth more. It gets multiplied. So you want to get that number up high while you're fighting, and it will pay off. So I think every experience I pick up right now, I'm going to get three. I assume it's like a one-to-one -one thing, but that's nice. So you'll notice, too, I think what happens is when I'm fighting with a certain skill, right? So if I fight with the bow and arrow, I get um, the, the type of experience that that is, right? So I'm getting the skill experience now. And then when I pick up the green experience points, that's how I'm filling up my little general bucket there. So that is interesting. You'll need both. You'll want both. Hmm, but that's how that works. Very cool. Greatwood Lake. Okay, yeah, let's go check out Greatwood Lake. I don't know. Are we supposed to be here? Does it matter? Holy moly, there's some stuff going on in Greatwood Lake. Is this guy evil? Oh, this guy's evil for sure. He's trying to kill his traitor. Not on my watch, buddy. I've seen your kind. You're like one of those bandits that was in the guild trying to get me. All right, man, be careful. Don't continue on up there. We got another silver chest. It, it requires five keys. We're not ready for that. All right, let's go on bug patrol here. The bow and arrow is great for these guys, except they are kind of fast. Actually, it's not great at all. <laughs> It'd probably help if I could hit them. There we go. I'll have to just treat them like they're those straw dummies for my training. Oh, and beetles are here, too. Yeah. Look at this one with these huge wings. Oh, they're no match for me, though. I'm a hero now. I don't remember fighting your kind back in the day. This one, he's getting a little sassy, too. We might have to hit him with some lightning, you know? Show him what for. Oh my gosh, could I punch the beetle, too? We gotta try that. Let's talk to these guys. These are traitors walking around. We can talk to them. Oh, he's a tattooist. He's got a bunch of tattoos for me. Should we get a tattoo right now out in the forest? That's where the best tattoos are given. Yeah. Okay, that one's too scary. Oh, he sells tattoos, but I don't know if he'll apply me a tattoo. Holy cow, the griffin tattoo is crazy, man. I don't want something that insane, you know what I mean? Uh, a back tattoo for the evil god, Phyrus. Eh. Oh, fire monkey tattoo. The fire monkeys were once revered as gods by the old mountain tribe. That's legit. Oh yeah, we gotta get that one. The Talon Arm Clan. I'm not going to be putting on evil tattoos, I think, so. Oh, these are a favorite among pirates. Uh, uh, pirates. Okay, no, let's get the, uh, yeah, let's get the Fire Monkey. I don't know, that sounds cool. Do I have enough money for this? Wait. Oh, no, I've only got 38 gold. Why do I have such little gold? Did I... Is it because I bought that stupid arse face title? Oh boy. <laughs> okay, let's see what this guy has. Okay, he sells like potions, will potions, resurrection files. Yeah, I can't afford all this. Oh, I could buy a carrot though. Hmm. The carrot has mystery. Okay. Oh, he's got 18 apple pies on him. Dude, the guildmaster would like attack you in the night here if he knew about this and rob you blind. Um, red meat, alright. Oh my god, the red meat's just like a big old Flintstones chicken bone. Doesn't that look good? Looks like the Renaissance Festival turkey drumstick. Crunchy chick! It's the bones that make these crunchy. Oh, I don't like that. That's messed up. 
Okay, a grain sack. The value of grain sacks, like other trade items, varies from town to town. Buying and selling from different shopkeepers and wandering traders is a good way to make a profit. Same with the flour sack. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so we can actually, like, trade sundries or something like this, but, uh... Yeah, for now I'm gonna buy one of these mystery carrots and we'll just call it... Nice. I still got some experience to get, too. Oh no, it faded away. I don't know if I got it or not. Hey, wait a sec. What is this? Is this a little bag of money? Oh! Where'd that come from? Was that given to me as a gift for defending those traitors? That would sure be nice. Hey, there's something else over here, too. There's just potions sitting out in the wild. Can you believe it? Man, I love that. How fun. Oh, this is fun. This is such a fun game. Gosh, this is great. Okay, and there's, man, there's a lot of different ways to go here. Let's go check our map again and see what is actually going on here. So, I can go to the world map. Yeah, okay, so we're exploring. So it's recording where we've at least gone. That's kind of nice. So we're down in Great Wood Lake here. Yeah, I don't know. Should we just try a random way to go here? Orchard Farm. No, you know what? We shouldn't. We're kind of at the end of the video here. So I'll tell you what. I'm actually going to head back to the Heroes Guild. I know. Sounds kind of crazy. Oh, I can go right to the entrance of Greatwood, too. You know what? Let's try that. Let's see where that takes me. Hmm. Oh, neat. Okay. How helpful. Oh, my God. It's putting me here. Oh, we got to punch our way out of these wasps, though, you know? Oh, my gosh. The map. What have I done? I don't need it to be that size. Get out of here, you darn wasp. That wasp had my health potion. Or he had a health potion. Now it's mine. Okay, this is great. We could get unlimited experience here just taking these wasps out. Also, why are there so many wasps around here? That's what I want to know. It's not good. I was just down here. If you went outside and there was like this many hornets outside, you would be running for cover, and you should be. I think we just picked up another potion, too. All right, we're getting out of here before these wasps come after me. The only safe place is the Heroes Guild. Sorry, traitors, you're on your own. Okay. Well, you know what, folks? I think that was a great, a great start to our adulthood and our freedom in this uh, video series here. So I will return with more fantastic adventuring in the next episode of Let's Pete Fable Anniversary. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later, folks.